Well, CLG continues their swing back win stomp situation. I don't know. There's three wins now in a row. It's nice. <laughs> it is nice. I'm joined right now by uh, with Vincent uh, with coverage brought to you by Alienware to talk a little bit about how things are shaping up on the team. So that game was interesting uh, for a number of different reasons. Uh, didn't you, you ended up getting first blood, I think, by throwing down a ward on a Thresh Lantern. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Uh, I really wanted to kill, and I ended up taking it because I was scared that he might click the Lantern even though I put a ward on it. So I ended up taking the kill. But wish I could have given it to Ezreal. Well, either way, I, it's... Seems like CLG's in a completely different situation. I interviewed Stixay last week who said he felt like the very first week the team was definitely the worst like team in the LCS. Uh, I'm curious, where do you think CLG stands now? Um, I think we're probably middle of the pack right now, even though we've had like a three game winning streak. The thing is, I can't really know because in scrims we have like pretty bad results, but on stage we've been winning like the past three games. I think in terms of like just scrim results, I would still say we're like a pretty bad team. But on stage, we seemingly play a lot better and we execute on the things that we like review about. Irene has like a list of things that he always wants to go over after every game. And sometimes in scrims, we don't really do it after the next game. But on stage, we like kind of remember it and we end up doing it. Tomorrow you play 100 Thieves, which is a face-off against Tuhi and Aphromoo. Obviously, you weren't on the team when Aphromoo was there, but uh, what uh, is that going to be interesting for you at all? Yeah, 100 Thieves, they came into the split like being pretty hyped up, and they haven't had the best start. They won the game today, so they're looking a little bit better, even though their game was like 50 minutes long or something. But every win counts a lot. I think last split we were just off by like one game. So we're taking every game really seriously, and Bang's like pretty good. So it's going to be a rough matchup, or not a rough matchup, but interesting matchup, yeah. exciting one. Now, uh, you, I've heard now that you're the captain of CLG. Is this true? Yes. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do not sound excited about this. Well, I just don't like the, like the name or the title captain. You know. How do, I mean, how did this happen? Did Walden just you woke up one more day and you had a captain's hat on and he said welcome to the team captain vincent yeah and i had to wear a hat for practice no it's like a lot of teams it kind of like happens organically for our team it didn't really happen after a couple of weeks so well then just decided that i was best suited for it and told me that i would be doing it basically it's kind of like shot caller actually it's pretty much shot caller and it has the same like responsibilities it just has a different title and i like the title okay. well let's talk about it being a shot caller then because I'm getting a weird sense of deja vu. I remember interviewing you uh, halfway through Spring Split last year, and it was like, congratulations, Vincent's now the shot caller for CLG. And then there was all this discussion around it, and then by summer rolled around, you were like, actually, we're experimenting with changing up shot calling, and it's a group effort. So uh, what what's going on here? Uh, I think the previous coaching staff, we had me as the shot caller for like that little stint and afterwards we decided that we would want to go back to democratic style i think with this team the coaching staff decided that it's better for me to just be like the captain or the shot caller i think it's worked out better because people are still giving out their ideas i'm more like a facilitator and um, kind of just grouping up ideas and like making it into a plan so it's been working pretty well i think People like give their ideas or like I make them own and like we make a plan together. And usually we have like a very clear plan of what we want to do. And we're not like confused in game or like either we're like, what are we doing? We have like multiple different calls. We're like pretty set on like one single thing. So instead of a democratic style, you become a tyrant. Yes. Okay. <laughs> is, it, is the power intoxicating? Sometimes it gets over my head, you know, but it is what it is. Yeah. What's an example? Have you ever yelled at any of the guys or told, you know, demanded they do something for you? I demand smoothies on my off day. No, it's just, I don't know, it feels the same, except I have a bigger voice in game and people probably listen to me more. Is there a power struggle between you and Darshan? Because he's president of the, of the, <laughs> the, whatever, the Players Association, and now you're captain of his team. Is that... Is that difficult to manage? No, there's no power struggle. Okay. 
just want to check because I know the politics of these LCS teams it can be crazy. Uh, what do you think of the games? I don't know. Did you get a chance to see any of the other games today? Because there was some weird shit that was happening. Yeah, I got to see all of the games. The one where Huni played Zillion top and was not CSing was really whack. Gave me a couple of interesting ideas though. I think I saw Reddit thread about that, like the specific thing where they play like Zillion top or Karma top and they just don't CS until they get their upgraded support item. That's, I feel like that shouldn't exist. That doesn't seem, that's kind of like gold funneling where I feel like it shouldn't be in the game. Okay. Wait, you're just against innovative strategies, Vincent? I like the old fashioned League of Legends. <laughs> You'd like us to go back to the day where there were like 40 champions and that was it? Pretty much. Top laners didn't have TP, only Ignite, and supports were just walking wards yeah. with 500 gold max. Heart of gold uh, and all that type <laughs> of stuff, yeah. All right. Now, uh, what has it been like? Uh, your, your strategic coach has been getting flamed a little bit. Uh, did you see this at all? Wait. I think Freak was flaming him because there was a clip from your documentary where he had said that he hadn't watched any games with, like, any of Darshan's games or any of, uh, wait, what, any of the Academy games so that he didn't know which, like, what to do in the top line situation. You're unaware of all this. I didn't hear about that, actually. Well, and I got nothing for this topic. Um, <laughs> all right. uh, what, are, what other teams are you, do you feel like are the big threats that you guys have to worry about? Uh, I think we still have TSM to play, and we've already played, like, the really strong team, which is, like, TL, and we ended up losing, so that wasn't great, but TSM and Clutch, I think, is actually pretty good, too, so they're probably, like, the main teams that we still have to beat. If we end up going 2-0 this weekend, it'll put us in a really good spot, though, and if we end up doing well in, like, the first half, we should be set for playoffs. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. People were telling me... You guys are going to get 10th place. Potentially both splits. Yeah. When I play solo queue, it's like, ha, oh, enjoy being 10th, you. Is that what people say to you? Yeah, people are so mean. In game or in your Twitch chat? No, in game. Wow. Do you report them? No, because it's not like, well, it's toxic, but it's not like reportable toxic. I think you should report them. The red honors. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Uh... Thank you for supporting us. I say the same thing every time, but it means a lot. And maybe we'll be playing Karma Top with no CSing and Spell Thieves next week. Can't wait to see it. You said it shouldn't be in the game, but you're ready to abuse it. Got to abuse it. You can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Hey, don't click away. I know it's the end of the video. Don't click away. I, I know that you're, just, you're like hitting, you're, there's another clip somewhere that you're going to click. Don't. All right. Because I got to tell you about my sponsor, Alienware. They sponsor everything I'm doing this year. You can check out the link in the description. It's super helpful. By the way, U.GG, they're generously supplying stats for a bunch of these videos. So uh, be sure to check them out as well. There's a link down there as well. Uh, and also, you know, while we're just full sellout in this outro, um, you can go check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Travis Gafford. If you give me a follow there, it's very helpful, and you can even Twitch Prime. And once you've completed all three of those uh, activities, you'll be allowed to enter heaven.